All right, what up YouTube? I'm fixing the little problem it has with making all the noise on the camera right here. You just have to tape down these two parts. Up here you see, you can kind of see it right here and right here. Um, but anyways, a uh, big thing going down right now and a lot of the G35 forms that I'm in are like Facebook pages is this couple just bashing everyone for their cars, their builds whatever uh just acting like their build is like the hierarchy of every g35 ever known to man um supposedly they have 70k put into the car and honestly it looks pretty stock engines stock i saw a few uh carbon fiber components on it um and a few polished parts but that's about it, it really it just has uh, a wide body kit on it some custom wheels um, so I'm just gonna talk about it talk about how I would spend 70k if I was building a G35 and just show some pictures of it um, but here here's the car itself so it just got painted red and they were saying how just the body kit alone the fender molding uh, and the paint was over seven thousand dollars I mean that sounds pretty accurate um, but I mean the rest of the car just looks pretty stock. Like, let me see here. Just operating on my Xbox. Like it all looks pretty stock. And then we got this AutoZone gas cap. Um, looks like a carbon fiber trunk, which is pretty cool. I dig the bumper. I think it'd be better with uh, two vents though. Um, the front I'm not digging so much. Just the way this wide body is kind of reminds me of like a, a Bentley Continental GT. Um, and it's just sending me weird vibes just looking at it. Like, like the one angle. Like this angle right here literally just looks like a Bentley. Low key, like they were trying to do a replica car of a Bentley. Um... But yeah, they've this couple has just bashed a bunch of people. Like there's this guy Jose uh, Leon that went to SEMA, and first thing, first comment on this dude's post when he said he made it into SEMA for the G30 or no, he put on the VQ Nation. So Jose, the owner of this uh, green wide body G35, or actually it was a G37, um, posted on VQ Nation. Um, saying he made it into SEMA, which is really cool. Congrats to you, man, if you're watching. Um, and the husband just straight goes and comments on it, saying, why did you not mold the fenders right? Um, blah, blah, like, that's not how you mold fenders. Uh, the bolt-on's trash. Like, they just troll everyone, honestly, and it's, um, it's just pretty annoying seeing that, you know? Like, we should all just be one community. One G35 community, the VQ, um, HR, DE, VHR, whatever you are. Um, I mean, we should all support each other. Um, everyone has their own uh, taste um, and their builds. Some people like to keep it simple. Some people go super aggressive. Some people do the mold-on fenders. Some people do bolt-on. Personally, I would do bolt-on. I like the whole Liberty Walk look. Um... So going off that, if I had 70k to spend on a car, um, first thing I would do is trade out my G35 for the G37 with the um, manual, because I want a 6-speed manual. Automatic's just super boring. Um, I would go the wide body kit, um, bolt on fenders. Um, I mean, that alone would probably cost anywhere from $4,000 to $7,000. Um, I'll do an airlift kit. Um, right now for the Black Friday sale, they quoted me uh, 2700 uh, And then to install it, I could either do it myself. I've never done it before, but I could. And, um, or I could have someone install it for like 500 bucks. Um, and so after that, I would go um, get the V3 Vortec um, supercharger from Stillen, 
like I said in one of my previous videos, I would take out the original billet in it though and swap out the 928 billet and um, change out some different components, get a different um, fuel pump, different um, air cooling, um, and then swap out some other piping. I was talking to Specialty Z's about it. And all that installed, including the supercharger, would be right under 16,000. Um, so we're already at like th we're already at almost 30,000 if you include tax on everything. Um, and then for sure we'd get some bride seats. It's probably another 3,000. Um, honestly, I don't know who I'd go through for wheels. I've always loved work wheels. But uh, there's a Brada Forged that are really cool, and then um, VIP Module are also v really cool that I've been seeing on uh, social media, and people are liking the um, quality of those wheels. Uh, I see some on the Street Runners uh, cars, like the Hellcats, um, and their 392s or whatever they are for the Challengers. Um, so let's say 4,000 on wheels. I said 3,000 on seats, so we're already at, um, we're already at like 37, 35,000. Um, I'll do some engine, uh, components, dress it up a little, polish some parts. Um, I mean, what else? Like honestly in my comment on the form I said I would do a long block but I probably wouldn't. I'd probably keep it in the um just the stock and I'd probably forge it all. Um so just doing that I'm guessing would be around seven thousand. Um so now we're at forty two thousand. I'm like running out of ideas how to spend seventy thousand dollars on a build. Um but then swapping out my car too would add an additional like eight thousand dollars on top of that. So then we're at um, now we're at like fifty thousand. Um, so after that, I'll get some carbon fiber engine components um, and carbon fiber steering wheel. All that would probably run me, I'd say around three thousand dollars because just for the steering wheel it can get up to seven hundred dollars tops I've been seeing and uh, when I'm questioning around uh, certain companies who uh, specialize in the carbon fiber wheels with the suede I'll do a suede roof probably another hundred bucks uh, changes the back seats a little bit to match the bride seats whatever color I'd probably go kind of loud and get uh, some red ones so maybe change the back interior to red um, I mean with all the power you might as well get a roll cage just make it more race cars, so I'll do that. Another thousand, two thousand bucks right there. Um, like what else? Um, for sure, would get a Bella trunk um, from Successful Automotive. Uh, their trunks are really cool in the sedans. Um, I'm saying I'm a lot because I'm like running out of ideas how to spend seventy thousand dollars on a build like this. Uh, would for sure do paint. I want wrap it. So uh, some high quality show paint. I'm guessing around like five thousand, seven thousand dollars tops. Um, I'm just gonna sit down the camera in case I was like doing it all shaky and whatnot. Um, and then we could. Uh, I'll do some other components like carbon fiber hood. That's gonna be. Uh, like the price has gone up on carbon fiber hoods. I remember when I first got my Infinity, they're like 800 bucks, and now I look at them, they're like 11, uh, 1100, 1200 bucks, 1300 bucks, around that price range. So I'd do that for sure. The paint, um, I'd forge the internals. I said that, um, and then maybe just throw the rest of the cash in the trunk. I don't know, like. I'm running out of ideas how to build a $70,000 car. Um, anyways, let me know what you guys would do with $70,000 if uh, you were handed it. And what you would build, what you would add to it, and 
um, what you think of this card because I know I know this couple's all over the forums just trolling people just calling people out I just want to know your guys opinion on them um, what you guys would do with seventy thousand dollars and if you haven't like the video subscribe and there's gonna be more videos like this coming out